let's look at some forms or some kinds of scholarships under these three financial aids. They can be merit-based scholarships. So merit-based scholarships given to high-achieving students or based on the outstanding accomplishments in various fields. Next, we can also look at need-based scholarships. So need-based scholarships can be in any form of financial need. It can be just clothing allowance. It can be just one-off stipend giving. It can be just accommodation. So that is specifically based on your need. There are also scholarships for athletics. So athletic scholarships, which is mostly given to students in their high school, their undergraduate studies to prove that they are exceptionally good in a specific sport and therefore they are being given scholarships to further their education. And we can also look at some specialized scholarships which is focused on a specific field. So it can be a scholarship for those in nursing, scholarship for those in engineering. So those are specialized scholarships. Sometimes they can also look at certain demographic area or certain race. They can be say they can sometimes it can come in a form of a scholarship for black minority ethnic groups or a scholarship for commonwealth countries. So these are specialized scholarships. Sometimes there are scholarships given to higher performing candidates of some standardized test such as ACT, GRE, SAT. Yeah, so if you are able to get a good grade in those or a good, a higher mark in those, there are some universities that will be willing to give you some scholarships because you have been able to pass um, this standardized test with higher grades or higher marks. Now let's discuss the benefits of scholarships. So the first one and the most obvious one is financial aid. If you are able to get the financial assistance from any institution or from a non-governmental organization or from a university, it helps to lessen or to reduce the burden of your financial expenses if you are to go through your studies overseas. Apart from that, you get the recognition the recognition of your higher achievement or higher performance in your undergraduate studies or your graduate studies, you get recognized and therefore you will be given a scholarship. So winning a scholarship, it's a form of recognition. Apart from that, it also helps for you to get the opportunity to network because when you win the scholarship, you may be able to further your education mostly overseas and when you get there you will meet people from all walks of life you are able to share your culture your lifestyle learn from them and if you may be in need of any form of knowledge skill or collaboration it's easier for you to get in touch with these individuals and last but not the least is your ability to relocate to a different country or overseas which is how I was able to take advantage of this opportunity and to relocate to the UK using a fully funded scholarship, which everything was paid for, including my flight tickets, my clothing allowance, stipend for every month for my upkeep. So all these are benefits that you can get from winning an academic scholarship. So what I would say is if by any chance you don't have the financial resources, to be able to relocate to a different country or overseas, then you may want to have your focus in winning a scholarship. So that means that you need to have higher grades. Not all scholarships um, guarantee are guaranteed because you have higher grades, however. We will discuss that a bit further in other modules, but it's good for you to have higher grades. So that is the benefits in general. However, the most important part of the benefits that you can get is your personal development. Your ability to navigate or your ability to juggle between working and making applications, making multiple applications, dealing with rejections, learning how to write all these forms of letters, have learning how to write essays and all that. It helps to position you, to equip you with some skills that you may need them further outside your education. Therefore, it also helps you with time management as well. Therefore, all these personal development abilities or skills, opportunities that you may get 
in making applications or making scholarship applications is ideal and it's worth it for you to try and begin this journey of making scholarship applications. So that ends our discussion in module one. Let's jump into module two.